Well, good afternoon, dearly beloved church family, YouTube family. It is good to be with you this morning. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thank you for being with us today. I hope and pray that you are enjoying all the great content that is coming from this page. We appreciate your support. We thank you so much for subscribing. Also, remember to continue to uh, share. And uh, if, you, if you're not a subscriber to our YouTube channel, we encourage you to do so. Like and subscribe. We really appreciate your support. And we love the fact that you are um, appreciative of all the content that comes off of this page. So we appreciate you for that. I am, uh, let me introduce myself. I am Sean House. I'm the pastor of the Whole World Gospel Center. And I just want to come to you this afternoon uh, with a little little nugget that the Holy Spirit has placed in me. Uh, I want to just share a few things. I'm not going to be long with you. This is just going to be a little quick, little 10 minute thing. But the question that the Holy Spirit has imparted unto me to ask you, family, is what are you sowing in your mind? What are you putting in your mind? Or what are you allowing to be downloaded into your mind? You know, the Bible tells us in, in, in Romans, the, the 12th chapter, verse 2, it talks about that we should renew our mind. Uh, and I will read the scripture here. Romans chapter 12, verse 2 says, And do not be conformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Praise the Lord. Now, what is renewing of your mind? Well, simply put, renewing your mind is simply making a conscious decision every day of your life, moment by moment, to choose to operate in the mind of Christ. Putting away our soulless mind, our carnal flesh, the very thing that is contrary to the spirit. Allow me just to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 2. It says, for whom has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him, but we, you and I, we have the minds of Christ. Renewing of your mind is making a conscious decision to shift your patterns of thought and focus and changing the way you think so that you can create a better life for yourself and honor God at the same time. Now, the question is today that the Holy Spirit wants me to ask you, what are you sowing in your mind? Well, let's talk a little bit about the law of sowing and reaping. Galatians 6, verse 7 and 8, tells us, dearly beloved, it says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that he also reaps. For he that sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. You need to pay attention to that now. But he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life everlasting. I want you to think with me just for a moment now. I want you to think of the human mind as a farmer's field. Did you get that? I want you to think about your mind being like a farmer's field. Think about all the acres that a farmer takes, cultivates the ground, sows the seeds. Now, we know that if a farmer was to plant a seed of corn, then he would expect a harvest of corn. Makes sense, right? If a farmer plants uh, cabbage, or a seed of cucumbers, let's just use that, then we should expect that farmer to reap cucumbers. We should not expect, it would be quite foolish of us uh, to think that if a farmer was to sow a seed of corn, that he would reap cucumbers. It doesn't make sense, right? Well, Romans chapter 8, verse 5 and 8 tells us this. For those who live according to the flesh 
set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. To set our minds on the flesh leads to death. But to set our minds on the Spirit leads to life and peace. This is why the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile toward God. For it refuses to submit to the authority of God's law because it is powerless to do so. Indeed, those who are under the control of the flesh cannot please God, my Lord. So in other words, if you sow in the flesh, you will reap corruption. It is absolutely impossible for any person to sow in the flesh or our carnal nature or our sinful nature and expect to receive a spiritual harvest. It won't happen, dearly beloved. It's kind of like the garbage in, garbage out concept. Whatever you put in, you should expect to get out. This is the law of the mind. Dearly beloved, I'm here to tell you this afternoon. It is absolutely impossible for you and I to put worldly things in our mind and expect a spiritual outcome. It ain't going to happen. Let me say that again. It is virtually impossible for us to put worldly things in our mind and expect to get spiritual results out. It's not going to happen. Doesn't make sense. So the question I have for you this morning is what are you allowing to enter into your mind? If you put garbage in your mind, then you should expect for garbage to come out. And you're going to see that garbage come out in a couple of different ways. It's going to come out in your actions. It's going to come out with, by what you say out of your mouth. Let me give you an example. If you allow yourself to listen to gossip, amen, if you allow yourself to listen to gossip, then eventually you will begin to gossip as well. You will begin to think of others critically if you watch programs on television. Nowadays, dearly beloved, it is hard to find purity in anything on television. I struggle as well to find things that are uh, doesn't have cursing, it doesn't have sexual lewdness, it doesn't uh, uh, glorify sexual misconduct or perversion. I know it's difficult in the days that we're in, but if we watch programs that display these things, if we're not careful, those things will be the things that we will begin to think on and eventually we'll begin, if we're not careful, we'll act out those things. Glory to God. If we watch programs that condone sexual misconduct or violence, let's talk about violence for a moment. If you watch 10 straight movies of people killing each other, if you're not careful, you begin to think on those things, and if you're really not careful, you'll act them out in real life. Isaac Newton, an English uh, mathematician, physicist, astronomer, an alchemist, and a theologian, you know, he uh, came up with this thing called the law of gravity. In other words, what goes up must come down. I want you to think about a spiritual law. Here's a spiritual law to consider just for a moment. What goes in us will eventually come out. In other words, the more garbage you allow to enter into your mind, that more garbage will come out in your daily life. But dearly beloved, the Bible clearly instructs us and encourages us to think on not those things, but to think on things that are true and that are noble. Let's look at Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. And it says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, Whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on those things. Then, beloved, I want you to know today that we have the power to sow. It's up to us or what we sow. God, uh, it's not God determines what we sow, it's us. It's our own conscious decision. We make a daily decision as to what we allow to enter into our minds. I thought about this today. 
to illustrate this garbage in, garbage out. None of us can live on a spiritual junk food diet. Hallelujah. Let me say that again. That's good. None of us can live on a spiritual junk food diet. Let me, let me give you a little uh, understanding here. Uh, let's break it into real time. Um, right here, I have a pair. I have a pair here, okay? I love pears. And then over here on this left side here, I have uh, a box of Oreos. Amen. Now, I love Oreos. Oh, God, I love them so much. They taste so good. Uh, I sometimes have to stop myself from eating them. Now, here's the thing. Um, we all know that uh, this is not very nutritious for our bodies, for our physical bodies. Yeah, they taste good, but they really don't have any spiritual value to them. Amen. But, but, but let's look at this pear for a moment. Now, this pear, it may not taste as good as uh, these Oreo cookies, but guess what? Uh, it may not taste good, but it has more Value more nutrients, more nutritional value that's going to help my body function. Amen. So in other words, uh, even though things may look good or taste good, doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to help you in the spiritual realm. Because remember, what you put in your body will ultimately come out. And so I think today we need to understand what is it that we are spending our time doing? Uh, if we're spending most of our time watching television rather than being in the Word of God, there is a deficiency there. We need to look at that. Uh, if I'm spending more time listening to music, worldly music that does not edify or glorify God, we need to examine ourselves right there. Remember, garbage in, uh, garbage out. Uh, so, so today, I just want to conclude here to tell you, my dearly beloved, let's examine uh, what we are sowing. Let's examine what we are thinking about. Let's think about the things that we put our minds on, things that we daydream about, fantasies that we may have. How are we spending our time? Are you praying more? Then you're talking. Are you Reading God's word more than you're watching television or on your iPhones or on social media. These are things that we need to think about, dearly beloved. Because garbage in, garbage out. I want to conclude today uh, in the uh, this scripture. says, and do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs. But be transformed and progressively changed. As you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes so that you may prove for yourself what is the will of God, that which is good and acceptable and perfect, his plan and purpose for you. Dearly beloved, I pray today, this is a little nugget that I gave to you, inspired by the Holy Spirit, will make you think will make you contemplate. What are we sowing in our minds? Are we putting our minds on the things of God rather than on the things of the flesh? These are questions that we need to ask today. And so before we leave, brother, I, sisters, I pray that this word has enriched your life and I pray that it will continue to enrich your life, that it will allow you to uh, contemplate on our, your daily walk with God because the truth of the matter is we all fall short of the glory of God and we all have deficiencies in our walk with God. I pray today that this word will reach those places in your life that there are deficiencies and it will bring growth in Christ Jesus. So I pray today, before I leave, I just want to remind you of this. Continue to support this channel. Continue to watch Two Men in a Bible. Continue to watch all the videos that are coming out of this channel from Whole World Gospel here in Sanford, Florida. And I want to remind you, I put a video out a couple of weeks ago. If you would like to partner with us here at the Whole World Gospel Center, uh, that would be wonderful. Uh, I put a video out two weeks ago asking uh, for your help uh, in raising $5,000. Dearly beloved, we need $5,000. 
uh, to, to pour into our video channel, to make this channel uh, much more uh, better as far as the video quality, the audio quality, the, the lighting quality. We need your help. So if you would like to partner with us here at Whole World Gospel Center, all you got to do is look down in the description box there on the channel, hit that little uh, word that says more, and you'll see uh, two links. One link will be to PayPal, and the other link will be to Cash App. If you feel in your heart, and you have been blessed, and you are continuing to be blessed by this channel, I implore you and encourage you to sow into this ministry. You will be richly blessed. God bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you, and may he be gracious unto you. God bless. Have a wonderful rest of your day.